Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. We are a few minutes away for The Flash. Season 4, Episode 11 is upon us. This episode is entitled The Elongated Night Rises. The weirdest title ever, but it makes sense because Barry's in jail, so I guess Ralph, the elongated man, has to step up to the plate and I guess protect the city, but isn't Killer Frost, now we kind of call her Frost at this point, and Vibe still available, so... I'm not really sure. I guess th this is a way for them to push Ralph to be more of a superhero and not so much a guy trying, you know, he needs to step up to the plate. He actually has to do something, I guess. Uh, so I guess we'll see what happens, I guess. His outfit, it's a prototype. It's just, it's still, it's it, it's silly. It's silly. But uh, I'm curious to see what they do in this episode. So that's what I do, guys. Let's go now. Let's go. Damn, he can't do anything. It just clicked. It took me a couple seconds. Oh! Oh! About to say, he was, he was like, I can't do anything. And he just did something. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was pretty funny. Is that Goldberg? Wait, I thought I heard a rumor about it. I didn't believe it though. How's the rest of the team? I saw Ralph on TV. Well. Hey, Ralph. Well, of course, that's it. That's his personality. Oh. Mark Hamill back? Fuck. Hopefully at some point this season. Oh! Goldberg! Yeah, buddy. Oh, shit. Slow-mo, bitch. That's not good. Little ball. Bam! He's downtown. Quarter of Demio and Bilson. Bring me the stretchy man. Or else you're gonna go boom, boom. My first Superdome. Thunderdome challenge. This is awesome. Thunderdome challenge? Alright. Oh. Oh. Nice to know that his dad helped Goldberg. From Legends of Tomorrow. That creepy fucking thing. Uh-oh. What's happening? Well, that's not good. <laughs> Not a good move. Also creepy, but no, not good. Get the hostages out. Oh, I'm gonna need the ice cream. Oh, that's not how it works. I can't just. Lexi LaRoche! It's the childhood bully. It's a matter of first name. Let's go! <laughs> a random name, but alright, if it works, it works. Big Sur. 
Oh! Oh shit, he got jumped. Goldberg got jumped! More of those things? Oh god. There you go. Oh. They should have seen this coming. Yep. 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 I knew it. Oh, shit. Good job, Barry. Hey. That's a lot better. It's a lot better. It's a lot better, yeah. Dodge, dodge, do some dodging. Boom. Oh. I, I thought he was gonna do it earlier. He's like, I'll do it now at the end of the episode. Yeah, I'll do it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. After credit scene? After credit scene. Oh my God. No worries. Wait! Wait. That's my motto, you know? You're uh, I don't need to keep Theory, what you're the daughter. Happen? You're a daughter or a granddaughter. Wow. You two total strangers. You know, short of cash, and then someone just steps out of the blue and helps out. They're totally in the way of a rent. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. What the hell? Are those the same thing that Barry was doing? The same drawings? There you have it guys, The Flash Season 4, Episode 11, The Elongated Night Rises. Okay, we got to talk about the ending first. Hold on. So, Mystery Girl pops back up at the end of the episode in the after credits. And we, fir we first saw her during the crossover event during Supergirl's episode when Barry's standing there and then she walks up and she's like, oh, it's great to be at your wedding. Well, 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 any wedding, really. Like, she's being awkward like she was there, right? The theory is that that is Barry's daughter or, in some other people's theories, granddaughter. It, it, it's There's a relation between her and Barry. And then adding more confusion, we see her, because we see like this, this book and she's writing in it and she's and then it shows symbols. What? I don't know, are, they, are those the same exact symbols that Barry was writing out at the beginning of Season 4 when he got out of the Speed Force? It looked like it, because if that was just random gibberish, then why would they show that? There's a reason why they showed that. There's a reason, and I think it's because it's the, it's the same stuff. And the way she was acting towards Cisco and Elongated Man tells me that she knows them from the future, because she's being awkward, like, a total stranger that just pops out of nowhere. You're not a total stranger. You're from the future, and you came back. That's my theory. Or maybe she was one of the metas that was on the bus. But why would they do? Why would they show her in a crossover during a Supergirl episode during the wedding? That 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 part makes sense to me. So, anyways, um, besides that, that we can go on forever about that whole situation of who that girl is. Um, so, okay, I have been honest, and I'll be honest again. I have not been a huge fan of Ralph. I haven't. And I think I would have enjoyed this episode a lot more if I was a bigger fan of him. But I will have to say, because I, I tweeted this right before the scene happened. I tweeted 
this episode's decent. Uh, if I, I'm, I'm just not that, I'm just not that big of a fan of Ralph. The episode's decent. Then after that tweet, I, I said it out during a commercial break. Then a little bit later, we have the scene where he's given a really heroic speech in his new suit, which looked a lot better than what he had. Um, and I'm like, okay, Ralph, good heroic speech. Even prank said, first of all, great speech melts in my heart. I'm like, oh, well, not melt my heart, but hey, it was pretty good. And seeing Barry talk to him in the cell and tell him about, you know, I'm not fearless. You know, it's, it's something we all face. You just have to, you know, do what you need to do, whatever. Barry being, you know, typical Flash. But... I'm growing on Ralph a little bit. Growing a little bit. I, I just, I don't know what it was. I, I think it's a, it's a combination of different things. I think his, his cockiness and his attitude, I think that's what kind of made me go, eh, on his character. I like the fact that they have elongated man on the show. I just feel like they could have portrayed him a little bit differently. But then again, it is what it is. There's character growth in, all, in these shows. I'm starting to like him a little bit more. Um, but overall, this episode was decent it wasn't amazing it wasn't oh my god 10 out of 10 but they ended off this episode that could be seen kind of as eh, you know is okay they ended with the with the with the girl that we're speculating forever who that is um it was cool to see them have a new trigger for uh caitlin to become killer frost they're still calling her killer frost I, I, i'm guessing at some point they'll just call her frost or they'll figure out a name but I, she's not killer frost like she's just frost like she's not killing people She's just, well, she did say she was going to kill Prank and uh, Trickster, but she's not killing good people. So, I don't know. Call her Frost. Uh, and then, obviously, my explanation was, thinking about it, like, Vibe and Caitlin just can, can, can go out there and save the city. But Cisco, Cisco made a point in the episode saying, you know, Birdie has to leave and leave the nest at some point on his own. Referencing that, you know, we can't always go out there and save Ralph. Like, he has to do it on his own. So that makes sense. Um, so there you have it, guys. That's the episode. Pretty decent. Like I said, wasn't amazing 10 out of 10, but uh, I, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what happens next week. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this episode, your thoughts about Ralph, the new suit, the girl at the ending. What are your theories on that? Whatever thoughts you have about this episode and the show in general, let me know in the comment section below. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.